The society group with bias for women has called on political parties to deliberately increase the stake of women in the forthcoming general election. The League of Women Voters also demands 35% affirmative action for women and a revisit of the women empowerment bills which suffered a setback in the National Assembly. Senior correspondent Joke Adisa reports. On INEC's list of candidates for the 2023 general election are one female presidential candidate, 92 female senatorial candidates, and 288 women for the House of Representatives. Are able and capable to address the League of Women Voters is all out to educate the female gender as election approaches. The group acknowledges women are underrepresented as a result of what it calls institutional discrimination. The League of Women Voters of Nigeria frowns at this marginalization. We therefore employ political parties to deliberately create space for women in their parties, as well as on the political campaign council. The League wants government to come up with a clear-cut roadmap that will tackle insecurity such that women are encouraged to partake in the political process. Having signed the peace accord, the political parties and candidates should ensure that they abide by this commitment to have a peaceful campaign and election. The League has a mission to educate Nigerian women, to enable them to play a larger role in governance. The group is at ease with the confirmation from INEC that it is not discarding the bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS, for the forthcoming general election. The Electoral Act already has said there's going to be electronic transmission. And we have seen the magic that BVAS had done for the FCT election, Oshun election, AKT election. And I'm sure a lot of uh, Nigerian women, the League is happy to see us continue with the use of the BVAS. We're involved in uh, the internal politics of uh, political parties as well. We try to make sure that these women are not uh, disenfranchised. The League of Women Voters says it is training and educating women across the length and breadth of the country to ensure that vote buying and selling become history in the nation's electoral process. Jokeyadsa, TVC News, Abuja.